So today we're looking at React Router with TypeScript. Now, if you haven't already and you would like to follow along, check out our first two videos in the series on setting up a TypeScript React project and also on styled components. Before we get started, let's contrast how routing works with a traditional website versus a single page application. For a traditional website, when you request a web page, your browser sends a request to the server asking for a web page. The server then sends back a complete HTML document which includes everything needed for that page. So these are like the text, the images, the styles and the scripts. The browser receives this document, evaluates it and renders the entire web page. Any time you click a link, it repeats this process asking for a new document from the server. The browser responds by sending a new HTML page with all its associated assets. When you open a React single page application, your browser fetches a basic HTML file along with some JavaScript. Once loaded, React takes over and renders all the components on the page. When you click a link within the app, React Router updates the URL without asking the server for a new document. Instead of fetching an entirely new page, React dynamically updates the content by rendering different React components based on the URL. It's like flipping between different sections of a digital book without loading a new book each time. If the new components require additional data, such as user information, product details, or any other dynamic content, React can make AJAX calls or asynchronous requests to fetch this data. Let's imagine we have a new route called additional data. In this case, clicking a link will trigger React Router to update the URL and render a new component. Once the first render has occurred, React will fetch data asynchronously and then render the additional data once it has been received. to install two packages. So the first one is React Router DOM. And because we're using TypeScript, we also need to install at types slash React Router DOM. So we have the typings for that package. Now I'm using Yarn, so I'm gonna do Yarn add React Router DOM and also the types package. But if you're using NPM, just do NPM install and the two packages. So let's just install those two. Now we have the React Router package installed. First thing I'm going to do is create a new component and this is going to be called router.tsx and it's going to be in our providers because it, it will be a provider. So let's just create the outline of it and then we need to import router provider and then we need to give it a set of roots. So const router equal create browser router and this is basically this create browser router we're basically just passing an array and it's an array of objects and each object has two properties so there's path and then there's element i'm going to create some elements now so i'm going to create a new folder and that folder is going to be called roots and i'm going to create home.tsx and then we're just going to create a basic component of h1 that says home okay Ground. And in router, we're going to import that for the root path. There we go, port home. Uh, let's create another root and we're going to call it about. Add that to our root as well. Right, so we've got two routes now. So we've got home and we've got about. And then we're just gonna pass this router into router provider, like so. Now the next step is we want to consume this router. So let's go into our app and let's add that right here. Now we've navigate back, so we've got home. And then if we go to about, you can see we have the about page now. So I'm just going to do some cleanup because we don't need all this content in the pages. So I'm going to move the content from the app to one of the other pages. So go to app.tsx. So let's get rid of this styled yellow button we created in the last video. The styled blue button as well. Let's get rid of that. This one as well. Let's get rid of that. Styled button. Get rid of that. So this button to change the theme. Let's retain that uh, because we do want to be able to change the theme still. And then let's take all this styling for styled header, styled logo. Let's move that to the about uh, to the home page. Let's move that here. And then we need, because we've moved that these wrappers, these style component wrappers, we're gonna cut them from this file as well. So we need the styled header and the styled link and the styled logo. 
and this style blue button, styled yellow button we don't need anymore. So let's get rid of that. Missing the logo, so the logo, port logo from logo.svg. Right, that's all good, that's all compiled properly. So let's go to our app. And now you can see we don't have all that clutter. We still got the uh, set theme to light here, so we can change the theme. But now we can see when we go back to the home page, that's where you're gonna see everything. You're gonna see the, the React logo spinning right so that's it so that's how you set up basic routing so just uh, as a summary so we've created a new provider and it's called router we've created new routes so we've created an, uh, an about route and also a home route and we've mapped the paths the route path uh, will be going to home and the about path will be going to about and then we have consumed this router provider inside our app 